Next question today is from Brittany. Brittany said, as you know, David Bowie died and there was a huge response from fans around the world who were saddened by his death. In the midst of this, there were suggestions that the hero worship was undeserved because of allegations that David Bowie slept with underage female fans in the 1970s. Regardless of whether the statutory rape allegations are true, my question is whether it's possible to separate the art from the artist. If the artist does something illegal or immoral, is it possible to still be a fan of their work or is their work irrevocably tainted? Is there a sliding scale that depends on how bad the act is? And if so, where would you draw the line? What acts are bad enough? that you would discount the artist's work wholesale. This is a very interesting question. For me, it there is a sliding scale and it just depends on what we're talking about. Let me give you an example. Uh, OK, <laughs> I'm trying to think of one. Mel Gibson, right? Absolutely disgusting anti-Semite, completely off the wall. I, I can't see the sight of the guy. I have not watched a Mel Gibson movie in I don't know how many years. I would not see any new Mel Gibson movies, period. I mean, I'm just disgusted with the guy, Lewis. I boycott Mel Gibson. That's it. I, I can't separate uh, his vile nature from his work. Absolutely. Ju just can't do it. Now, how about artists? Uh, OK, what's an example? Uh, well, how about David Bowie? Well, David Bowie, for example. Yeah, I mean, uh, for me, I can uh, I to be honest, I didn't know about these allegations. So that was probably a factor. But yeah, I mean, I can appreciate David Bowie's music and still be aware of the fact that he's accused of doing uh, horrible things, which may or may not be true. I'm not I'm, I just don't know the, the background on that. Here's another example. I don't love Metallica, but sometimes I'll hear Metallica and I can enjoy a couple of Metallica songs. My understanding is that their lead singer, James Hetfield, at minimum, is a right winger. I don't agree with his politics, but does it affect my enjoyment of Metallica to the extent that I enjoy Metallica, which is sort of like a five out of ten? It doesn't change my enjoyment of Metallica. So, yeah, I think it's a sliding scale of sorts. Ted Nugent. I mean, it's very easy with Ted Nugent. I think his music is, is an absolute abortion and I can't stand the guy politically. So that it's very it was very, very easy to continue never listening to Ted Nugent. OK, well, as I've said, I like some of David Bowie's music. Yeah. And yeah, the allegations are that in the 70s, young girls were throwing themselves at him. And for whatever reason, he either didn't ask or find out how old they were. Uh, he succumbed. Yeah, was he was he on a lot of drugs and alcohol at the time? Probably, but that's no excuse. Uh, he indulged. <laughs> there are musicians that have done far worse things, but still, I, I can separate the two. And I listen to some music from people that are self-professed white supremacists, really homophobes, uh, even murderers. And wow, and I can still listen to the music, and I can separate that. It's um. I, I suppose I don't know if there's the sliding scale for me hmm. because I'm also repulsed by Mel Gibson. But I if, if there's a movie he's in or makes that I want to see, I'll probably still check it out. Out of curiosity, what movie what might that be? I mean, I can't even really think of one. Well, there was the, the one that he filmed in the, the, the area we're from not too long ago. Oh, yeah. Like, what was it called? In, uh, I don't know. Never seen it. Edge of Darkness. No interest. Edge of Darkness. And you check, know what? It really please. wasn't that bad. Yeah. Okay, no, that's fair. I, I think the other, you know, an, another example would be like John Voight. John Voight is known to be one of the right wing Hollywood guys. Um, if I see a movie with John Voight and John Voight pops up, I'm annoyed about John Voight. I mean, I, but I'll still watch it, you know, and, and sort of for me, it is sort of a sliding scale. Take it one at a time. How do I feel about it? Uh, you know, Fred Thompson, when he was in Law and Order, um, I, was it SVU? I don't remember which, which Law and Order Fred Thompson was in. I knew Fred Thompson was a right winger, and I thought that his character in the show was was a good character. Didn't really affect me, you know. Relatively, uh, un, I was unbothered by it. So for me, it is a sliding scale. Okay. Yes. Uh, at some point, on Dave's sliding scale, he'll hit the mark called boycott. Right. I don't think I have that one. On on. I don't think I have a scale. Um, that's just me.